Okay, so in the, this one, we're going to talk about birth, the idea of positive feedback, uh, and basically how birth is, is, is mediated by positive feedback of estrogen and oxytocin, tocin, sorry, oxytocin. Um, okay, we talked about negative and, and positive feedback. With a negative feedback, an increase in something causes a decrease in something else. Um, in a positive feedback, an increase in one reinforces that change, causes an increase in, in another. Okay, so the idea of, of childbirth um, is that it, it occurs via positive feedback under hormonal control. Um, so basically the idea here is that we reinforce the change detected, right? Um, so positive feedback, it amplifies that change. And this is a really classic example of positive feedback. Um, so again, as, as the baby grows, um, it pushes against the cervix, okay? Um, and and as, as, it, as the, the fetus grows, it, the uterus gets stretched, right? Um, so there's stretch receptors um, that detect this. Now, when, it, when the baby gets to about, or a fetus gets to about nine months, right around nine months, um, those, that stretching triggers, um, it's detected by what we call stretch receptors. So these are receptors that kind of monitor how much stretching has happened. Um, so then when it gets to a certain threshold, that triggers the release of hormones, particularly one called oxytocin, um, that causes, um, it causes the uterine muscles to contract, like further reducing space in the womb. So what actually happens here is as the baby grows, it's pushing the walls out, right? Um, but what happens when oxytocin gets released is it's causing contractions this way, okay? Um, and then that, um, causes more pressure to be put on the cervix, right? And those stretch receptors detect that, and that releases more oxytocin, which causes more um, pressure there. So what in, ends up happening is those those contractions, those muscle contractions, right? Um, you've seen in the, in the movies where they, you know, there's, there's 15, you know, their contractions are 10 minutes apart or, or whatever. Um, that's caused by oxytocin, which is caused, which is, which causes con more contractions in the uterus lining or the uterus, which then causes more pressure, more of those stretch receptors to stretch, causing more um, oxytocin. So you're basically causing more contractions to happen over a quicker amount of time, which is eventually going to, going to force that baby, uh, that, that fetus out. Okay. In, in terms of um, estrogen, so estrogen levels actually just slowly increase during pregnancy. Um, and that causes, um, that kind of helps maintain the pregnancy and things. But as soon as oxytocin starts being produced more, um, that estrogen levels start to kind of level off and, and eventually slowly drop after birth. But so the idea with, with estrogen is, is that it's kind of maintaining the pregnancy throughout the whole process.